Hey YouTube, I am Tiberius and you're about to watch an edited recording of a Twitch stream. You can check out my Twitch using the link in the video description. If you enjoy the content, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Let's try juggling facts. I have an inkling this is going to be PHP type juggling, just from the name. Which again, is not something I think I would consider quote unquote easy. Let's download the files though and see. And this, that'll probably uh, wrap up the stream. Okay, is this going to be PHP? Yes. It says very easy, but then... <laughs> what was the very easy one that we solved last time? Um, gunship, which we did not solve at the time. We solved on Wednesday because it was not easy, not very easy. Okay, so let's have a look at this PHP then. All right, so we have... The get request goes to the index controller, the index function. The post API get facts goes to the index controller, get facts. The router probably just is default. Looks a bit like it. Database. All right, All right we'll look at the controllers. All right, so we have the index just shows us the index. So we get JSON data from PHP input, which is basically going to be the post body. Uh, if the JSON data is empty, it's going to return insufficient parameters. There has to be at least a key, uh, sorry, a type key. Okay. And then if JSON... If the type is equal to secrets and the remote address is e is not equal one two seven zero zero one okay that's weird let's um uh... <laughs> let's just go to the my goodness, what is going on here? <laughs> what is this? So this is weird that there's currently this... Oh, secret. Mm. Okay. That makes sense. So if we try and access, if I send this to repeat, if we try and access secrets, we're going to get an error message. 
And I'm imagining we can't just do x forward and forward. So I wonder... Can we, like, do something stupid, like... Mm -hmm. Or not. So let's just Google JSON PHP type juggling. So type juggling is funny. Um, so there's some great examples here. So in PHP, uh, the string seven puppies is equal to seven. Uh, the string puppies is equal to zero. Uh, but only if you use two equal signs. If you use three, suddenly PHP works again. So basically, in PHP, you should never use a double equals. You should always use triple equals. I imagine what we're supposed to have to do is, I mean, we have to bypass this. No, this is, this is basically the same. So this is, this triple equals is a strict equals, exclamation point double equals is a strict not equals. All right, because you have Equals, equals, and not equals. They're the loose types. Triple equals and dot. Double equals. Because obviously double equals, the opposite, doesn't have a doesn't have a double equals. It has an exclamation point and an equals. I wonder what happens if we do two types then. <laughs> Like, can we do... Can we do spooky... Can we do the other one? Okay. <laughs> Where's the vulnerability? I mean, I think it's in... It's in the fact that this is being odd. Valid type. So it's gotta be it's gotta be something to do with so the type. <laughs> So basically we need to somehow make we somehow need to make it so that this comparison doesn't work but case secrets does 
Um, oh, so actually, PHP string comparison type juggling. Thank you for following. Okay. <laughs> I guess we should just open up a... <laughs> uh, what happens if I do test equals equals test? Does that give me anything? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so this works. I need to find two strings which equal each other, like this, but don't equal each other. Uh, uh, PHP, yeah, okay, PHP type juggling strings equal. Mm -hmm. Wait, is it just zero? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. The string PHP is equal to zero and true. What's <laughs> have they fixed it? <laughs> okay, well, it equals true. So, what happens if I just do true? There we go. All right, that was it. <laughs> Does zero work? No. All right, true works. I don't know why zero quite doesn't work. So, the reason this works, um, if we look at the code. Uh, we set type equal to true. Okay. Uh, is the type equal to the string secrets? No. It's equal to true. All right. So this doesn't count. Right. This 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 gets ignored. So we go here. And now we're switching. We're basically just doing a bunch of if comparisons um, on the type. Uh, is it equal to secrets? And remember, if you're doing a switch, it's basically just doing, so this case is just going to be if case, uh, sorry, no, if secrets equals equals type. Okay, that's all it's doing. And well, it's, I mean, technically it's doing this. So we'll do that. All right. So we set the, the type in the JSON data to true, a literal Boolean. We're switching, we're doing comparison. Uh, is the string secrets double equal to the boolean true? Yes, it is. 
<laughs> because all strings are true. So this wouldn't work, I believe. I believe I'm right in saying this would not work if secrets were down here. All right? Because in that case, the first thing it compares to is spooky. And obviously the string spooky is equal to true, so it returns this. All right, so the only reason this is vulnerable, technically, I mean, it's, it's vulnerable either way because you shouldn't be able to just send true. Uh, but the only reason we can get the secrets is because it checks those first. On the screen are my socials. Please follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, follow me on Twitch to get alerted when I go live. You can also find all these links in the video description.